Hello, my name's Karina Thompson and welcome to the next instalment in our series about configure within the MySona embroidery software. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can change the appearance of MySona within your computer. If you're a subscriber or own a copy of MySonet, why not subscribe to our YouTube channel and that way you won't miss out on any of our future films. In this video, I'm on a PC with the platinum level of software installed, but everything I show you today, you'll be able to do on a Mac. The principles are exactly the same. And more importantly, everything I show you today, you'll be able to do on all levels of the software, including the basic free version of uh, MySonet. So let me begin by starting off by actually opening up Configure. So I'm going to go to the File tab up here, and then I'm going to scroll down the green menu bar here on the side to where it says Configure. And so we're going to go to the Appearance tab. And the default is always this pale blue on a woven background with sort of a quite a dark blue uh, tab. So let's say you're working on a very specific project where you actually want a specific colored background. There are some uh, quick colors here. You can click on more colors where you can have quite a wide range of colors, or if you need to be very specific, you can click on the custom tab and then you can put in stuff, uh, the very specific uh, technical details of that color that you want. Today, I'm not going to worry about that, so I'm going to click cancel. But what I am going to do is I'm going to go back to the quick colors and I'm going to choose this gray. I'm going to click on that. The texture here is uh, woven. So again, I'm going to click on that pull down arrow and you can see we've got some choices here. So today, for instance, let's say I'm working on terry cloth. I'm going to click on that and you should be able to see. Let me just zoom in a bit more for you that you can see the preview tab is actually changing that. And again, let's change our grid color. Just like before, if I needed to be more specific, I can go to more colors, but I'm just going to go with the quick color on that red here. And then at this point, if I actually click apply, you can see that that has actually changed the characteristics. Let me just uh, zoom out a bit more and let me just move this over. So you can see we've got the uh, characteristics here are giving me um, uh, the feel of this being embroidered out on some terry cloth. And you might say, well, why might that be important? So for instance, what I then could do is if I wanted to use design player at all, that's going to show what this is my design's going to look like on that surface. Although, of course, it's not going to show that red grid on there. Let me just move the box back in and let's zoom in again. Let's talk about the screen layout styles. So I'm going to click on here and we've got a whole range. Now the default, can you remember I talked about that green border on the side being green? So that would be that choice. But for instance, we've got a whole other range of uh, color choices here. And for instance, let me go with the tan. And of course, I need to always click apply. So straight away, can you see the color of this, uh, the apply button has changed. Usually that's a pale green. It's gone this kind of pale orange tan color. And I'm going to click on that. And can you see on the main screen what, where we used to have pale green areas, we've actually got areas that are now that tan color. And then we've got a much stronger version of the color over here um, on the file page that if I then click, can you see that we've actually got, um, we're changing the appearance of the setup of the software. 
What we're not going to change is, for instance, what's going on here in the film strip or in actual fact, if I zoom in, can you see that the, because uh, this is a, a group selection here, that the handles on here are orange. It's not going to change any of those colours. If uh, there were super designs in here, I my lettering those green handles would be uh, uh, would stay green. So what we're actually doing when we're changing the color, we are only changing the color sort of uh, selection boxes, things like that. Let's bring configure back. Let me just zoom in again. So why might that screen layout be an issue for you? Well, it might be perhaps um, you have a color blindness issue and that you find uh, some colors are more visible than others. That's a useful way of doing it. You might find looking at um, certain colors also tie your eyes. So that gives you the freedom to change that. So let's come on and talk about what's going on with the measurements here in this box. Now, why this is a useful exercise is if your screen is actually set to 100%. This is in terms of your display monitor rather than the zoom feature within uh, MySonet. So this is something to do with the, how your display is actually set up within your computer or laptop. If that is set to 100, what you can actually do is you can take a tape measure out and you can measure this ruler scale here, actually physically put a ruler up against your screen and measure it and put the dimensions that you need to in the box below. That will actually um, mean that when you are at 100% within the zoom in the software, that will be exactly the right size for your um, that your embroidery will appear in the real world. And then, of course, over here, you've got the choice. Do you want to show your measurements in millimeters or inches? And some of us work in uh, uh, metric. Some of us work in feet and inches. So that's a great flexible choice. And then finally, this is quite a specialized thing. You might find that you don't really use it. If you need to, if you are doing cut out appliques, so this is where you are actually cutting out either a hole, maybe you're using cutwork needles, or maybe you're doing a layered applique and you want to show the fabric behind that applique. You can actually set the color for this. And the default is this kind of pale blue gray. And again, We've got some choices of colors here. Now, if you are actually doing a cutout where you will show um, fabric beneath, you can set that very specific color. If you know, for instance, say in this case, a piece of canvas underneath uh, your cutout, you could actually set that as well. As always, you need to click apply to set it. So hopefully you can see how you can use the appearance tab to customize how aspects of the MySonet embroidery software appears in terms of kind of the color when buttons are active, but also how you can set the actual scale so that when you are at 100% zoom into your embroidery design, you know that what you're actually seeing is exactly the scale it should stitch out at. If you found this a useful film, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Happy sewing!